Hello and welcome to the demonstration video for the Smile Create Repeat February Monthly Art Experience. In this month's episode we're going to create um, something a little different than uh, we normally do. Um, we're just going to do some illustration uh, characters based on a theme that you pick um, using these great supplies from the February 2017 surprise. Some watercolor color pencils and a watercolor crayon permanent marker and these awesome water brushes so and this great paper so we have some Strathmore watercolor paper some Canson watercolor paper and we have Yupo watercolor paper um, and I when I played with the Yupo earlier um, it was really kind of interesting using it with the color pencils because the colors are just really intense it's a very soft paper um, and it was just really kind of neat. But then when I went in, and it's a watercolor paper, but then when I went in and used water on it, it does it, it works nice, but then it gets uh, really thin. So I'll have to try it again using regular watercolors to see um, what I think about it as a watercolor paper, even though it is a watercolor paper. So it's definitely a new technology. It's fully synthetic. Um, but you have a bunch of sheets of that in your surprise so you can really experiment and play with it. And as you can see I did that. I used it uh, with the marker and just to see what it feels like but it's really an interesting paper. Uh, I'm going to show you on the more traditional uh, which one is this one? The Strathmore? Um, no. Yeah this is the Strathmore watercolor paper. Um, and the, the way you can tell is it's the bigger one in your sh in your book surprise, but also one side has a little more texture. The other one is a much smoother side. Um, the the more textured side is the side I'm using. But again, experiment. You do you do whatever you like. All right, we're going to to an ink drawing, and I just use my my awesome pencil and just and there we are so that's all done the drawing that was nice and easy it's a good pencil look how quick it made me help me do that drawing um, so what we're gonna do now is I'm just going to ink over this loosely the different styles there's much more a, a tight uh, inking like a comic book you would do but this one is just gonna be a loose uh, sketch I have the pencil drawing on here um, and I'm just going to um, just uh, draw. This is um. And I'm letting the line break. One, because your eye will complete the broken line. And we're going to be adding color to it, which will also complete the drawing. Oh, this is neat. What is this box, I wonder? I know. It's the great smile, great repeat monthly surprise. But there's a lot of fun in that one. Oh, there is. I know there is. this hand doing? Holding her watercolor pencils, of course. Hmm. 
This arm coming up here. And I'm going to change that a little bit. I think that. Finger should be over on the side there. And now I'm going to go a little slower on the face because I want that to be. Just a little more careful, that's all. And I'll add a little texture, a little, just a little bit of the hair. Now this is a, a flower headband. black okay so there's the ink part so now I need to think about how I'm going to add the colors in here right using the colors I have um, so I'm gonna make the flower I'm gonna use this pink color the crayon on the and I'm just really loosely um, just putting a little bit of pigment on the paper because I know I'm gonna use the water brush and use the watercolor on that um, to fill it in but I'm keeping them I don't want to put so I wouldn't put a pink shirt and pink pants because I don't want the pink right next to each other I'm not going to give her a brown shirt and brown hair because I don't want those touching so if you're going to give her either brown or blonde hair then give her a different color uh, these are the colors I have you have different ones um, then give her a different color so if you want to give her blonde hair then maybe give her a brown shirt and pink pants or whatever and I'm probably going to make the cat brown. Um, so I'm going to go in and color him in a little bit. And maybe I'm going to make him, I will give him a, a brown tail. So he's all a brown cat. But I'm going to add some yellow to him too to give him a little bit of orange. But I'm still leaving. I'm going to leave a little bit of the color, a little bit of the white on the edges of the colored pencil. <clears throat> so now the water brush, you fill it just in the tap, the green, come, the green top comes off and then you just squeeze this part gently to let a bit a little <laughs> A little bit of water flow. So this is the um, right now. I'm, uh, this is the crayon. Okay, and I'm leaving the top edge clear. Now this is the brown, as you can see. Nice, and I'm leaving again the top edge. Just as a little highlight. Okay. Yeah. Since I have brown on my brush, do that. And we'll just do a little bit of the dirty water on the brush. There's a little shadow there. And I'm going to pick up a little bit more of the brown there and add 
little shadow under the little girl here. And I'm going to grab a little more and just do it really lightly under the paper that Elgato is sitting on. And so different sections, if you, um, I'm wiping my brush on a little rag just to clean off any of the other colors, if there's any on there, because I don't want them contaminated right now, or mixing. Um, but what you can do is, yeah, this yellow's really great. Yeah, and that did not give me any... I did not leave enough room. I don't blame the pencil. I didn't give it enough room. For those bright yellow pants. Hmm. All right. Now let's see if we can add a little bit of um, mixing in there. So we have the cat. He is... I uh, can't tell if he's dry. All right, so let's see if we can add, let's get some of this yellow, and we're going to do it near his mouth to add a little bit of color there, and we'll do some in there in his belly, and he needs to be drier, so that's not working great. But I'm going to go in with the dark brown because I want this girl's hair to be a little darker and if it's still wet the pencils sometimes get really dark now yeah, just roll that right over there and then you can go in and if you want to you go in and wet it again or you can just leave the dry pencil and that adds a little bit of texture also so I have a little bit of brown on my brush still so I'm using that to add a little bit of shadow to separate because this is her right leg that's back there. I'm just putting, mixing it in there so it pushes it back so this leg and this leg are separate a little bit. And maybe we add, uh, let's get a little more brown, just the bottom of her feet. Where the sleeve is. And let's see what that looks like mixing the paint with the cat's face. Oh yeah, the paint mixes a lot. So that looks nice. And I'm gonna put more brown on his on the cat because I want him darker too. cat obviously had some dirty feet. He must have stepped in some of the paint. That was supposed to be the cap of the brush, but I'm going to make it another uh, cat print. And I'm actually going to put another one here and maybe here. Because he's walking all over the place making a mess. But I don't think she binds. And then I'm going to go in with this crayon. And just add a little more. Because I want this... I want there to be some exciting color in there. So let's make that those pinks a little brighter. 
I'm just gonna really just touch these pink footprints gently in this and the watercolor and the crayon on her shirt and on the flower just to soften them a little bit but I really want them to try to stay that really bright and now I have some pink on the brush I don't know if this is gonna work but I'm gonna add a little pink to her cheeks okay probably a little too much but if you have a little tissue you can dab that um, and lift off some of the water and I think we're all set so there's our little illustration uh, using the pen the watercolor pencils the water brush from our February 2017 surprise from smile career repeat um, I hope you liked it. It's a little different than what we normally do. With the, we usually do more realistic stuff. Um, but I love cartoons, and they're just uh, it's a lot of fun. And the looseness of it really is, uh, you don't need to worry about it so much. Um, so thank you again very much. If you have any uh, comments or questions, you can email us. Um, or, of course, post on all social media. We're everywhere. Um, and certainly post and show us what you've created because I can't wait to see it. Thank you so much.